Hello, this is Pastor Rick, and I want to welcome you to the Sunday Forum, this special Table Talk edition for the fall. Our topic for this Sunday, December the 3rd, is the vision has become a reality. The first worship service out at the new pavilion at the park. How wonderful. Finally, the plane has landed. The vision has become a reality, and we had our first worship service under the new pavilion on November 19th, 2023. Nicole Eastwood, who's associate to the Bishop of the Florida Bahamas Synod, came out and she preached and presided. Deacon D and our own Beatrice uh, were out there leading the worship. It was just a glorious day. The wind was blowing. It was like Pentecost. But before we show you some pictures of that service and of that day, Let's go back a little bit and review the history which has brought us to this point because many of us have been working and praying for a long time. So let me start with a video from one year ago from Howard Isaacson as he describes the dimensions of the new pavilion. From one year ago, let's watch and hear from Howard. First, remind us a little bit about the pavilion Uh, We've got some pretty nice plans that were drawn up a long time ago. We have fantastic plans for the pavilion, which have been approved by the Collier County Building Department. So we are now getting ready to actually build. The pavilion, the core of the structure is about 60 feet by 40 feet. The eaves will be about uh, 10 to 11 feet high from the ground. The peak will be almost 30 feet. So this will be quite a substantial, gorgeous, heavy timber structure. So about how many people, when it's completed, about how many people could gather there for a Sunday worship service? Easily 125 to 150, Rick. So about half the size of the Family Life Center. And I know I've seen some of these pictures that you're showing now. It almost appears a little bit like a Norwegian stave church. We wanted it to feel traditional, to reflect back to uh, the heritage uh, that, that so many folks cherish. We also wanted the structure to be timeless. And so that way it effectively is a multi-generational structure that'll last a lot longer than any of us. Okay, now you know more about the dimensions of that pavilion than you were probably expecting. So that was the physical structure as we foresaw it one year ago. But now let's hear an interview with Pastor Will from a year ago about his vision of the programs and activities that could take place in the new pavilion once it had been constructed. Let's hear now from Pastor Will. We're going to focus in on the pavilion out at the park. I'm really happy to have Pastor Will join me. Thanks for joining me on the Sunday Forum. Thanks for having me, Pastor. You know, we're going to begin with your reactions to the pavilion because now we know the tip will be delivered the first week of December. Things are starting to move. So I guess I have to ask you, what does it mean to you now? We've waited a long time. What does it mean that we can actually start this project? It's it's exciting, Rick, to uh, say the least. Um, you know, as you said, we've been waiting patiently and, and hope that uh, it would come and it's here. And so um, for us, what this really means uh, for, for Emmanuel, for the mission development, is it's a sign of permanence um, in the community. Mm-hmm. Having the pavilion out there, having people drive by and see it, whether we're out there or not um, as, as the people, um, it just shows that we're here to stay in the neighborhood. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, tell me, what are your hopes for the pavilion, for the ministry that will take place underneath that beautiful building? I mean, what are, what are your, you've been thinking about this for a while. A while. We, we've been thinking about it. We've been uh, hoping and dreaming, as I said, we've been planning, uh, too. Um, and we, my hope is that this uh, pavilion uh, provides a center point for the whole uh, neighborhood to gather together, uh, whether that's uh, during the weekend in worship um, or during the week at maybe a, perhaps like a farmer's market oh, uh, that we might do, um, uh, movie nights, uh, summer camps, all kinds of activities like that, that it's a, it becomes a place where people can come to 
gather uh, in the neighborhood, whether they're a part of Emmanuel or not, or not uh, but they can see uh, Jesus uh, working through their lives, working through the people that are there, and, and see God's love shown um, tangibly. You know? And from what you've said, you're going to have some whistles like you could actually show a movie is that possible absolutely once the pavilion's in we have a, a, a phase where we're going to put the electronics in the lighting the screens and and we'll be able to do all kinds of things like that folks will be able to rent the pavilion out wow. um for parties and and, and weddings and so it, it's going to be a, a very uh usable tool uh to say the least so the pavilion is really going to change your ministry out there. Absolutely. It's going to trans. The word I like to say it's uh, as we transition back out to the park and the pavilion is built, it's going to transform us. So we have to be ready for that transformation and we have to be ready to say yes to God. Pretty amazing. When you see how we were thinking and how we were dreaming one year ago from today and now, what has become a reality? And it has become a reality. That first worship service on November 19th. We want to show a video clip now to give you a sense for that worship service and for that glorious day under the new pavilion. Let's watch it right now. Matthew chapter 25, Jesus tells a parable of a master who went away and gave coins to his servants. Okay, we've been dreaming about that day for so long, and people were excited out at the worship service. We couldn't interview everyone, but we do have a few interviews to show. And first, hearing from our own Deacon D, who is doing so much work out at the park to prepare for that day. Let's hear from Deacon D. Ah, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, and in rejoice is certainly what we have done today as we made our transition to this beautiful pavilion. We are so grateful each and every day here at Emmanuel Park for all that is happening. We have children that are playing on our playground. On Wednesdays, we serve food um, to those in the community. Um, our numbers have reached as high as 630 families. Volunteers come from Emmanuel and from the community. We even have about 10 to, to a dozen high school students that come out on Wednesdays to help serve. Looking forward to the next chapter on how we will continue to grow and how we will continue to reach and spread the gospel in this beautiful community. And also we want to hear from some other people. Here we're going to hear from Rob Headley about his impressions from that first service and what led to it. Let's hear now from Rob. I'm Rob Headley, a congregant in both the Park Church and Emmanuel Lutheran at 777. I'm so, so happy at how well the Park Church has turned out here with the pavilion. I was a volunteer here in part, staining boards and other projects. And uh, when I just sat here today after the inaugural service under the pavilion, just my heart was filled with gratitude at how it all worked out. And uh, my thanks to our leader, Howard Isaacson, and D, just Pastor Will, all the people in the past who have put it all together. I'm really happy to um, have been a participant in it. I was a donor and I know so many others were uh, major contributors to it. Boy do we need that in order to make these things come true. Great plan, I can't wait to see the next phase. As you can hear, it was a glorious day. It was a beautiful service. They had food afterwards, they got to celebrate. 
And so we want to give you some more impressions, some more photos from that day as we hear a final hymn, The Church is One Foundation, because, again, it's not about just building a new pavilion out at the park. It's about establishing the foundation of a new church, of a community serving the neighborhood out there on Oil Well Road. And so sing along with the hymn and enjoy photos and images from that glorious day. Again, the vision has become a reality. Thanks for joining us on this special Table Talk edition of the Sunday Forum. Bye-bye now.